Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. It is Tuesday, 25th of January. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your PSP to official firmware from 6.60 to 6.61 um, without the internet. So, I'm going to use this and I'm going to use my laptop. So, from here, I already did this, so I'm just going to show you. Now remember, my, I have a Japanese model, so the O is to enter. So there you go, 6.61. It came with 6.60, and I decided to upgrade the firmware for the uh, jailbreak that I'm going to do later on. So from here, I'm going to go to the laptop, and we'll get started. One thing before we go, or I go, um, you're going to need this to uh, use with the uh, SD card. So pop this SD card into the adapter and hopefully you have a desktop or a laptop that has um, an SD card adapter port. So this is how we're going to do it. Um, I can't connect to the Wi-Fi because the PSP is so old and then with the advancements of security it just won't it won't connect to the internet so nonetheless let's get over to the computer all right as you can tell i just popped in my sd card as you see in the bottom right corner we're going to go here this is my website it's not finished yet it's uh i left it open um to register um just for a short while but I gotta close it because there's too many spam bots and I gotta take care of them. So what I did here, I made a post. You're gonna have to download the 6.0, 6.60 for the 1, 1K, 2K, 3K, or the PSP Street. Or you could download the 6.61 official firmware for the 1K, 2K, 3K Street version of the PSP. Same goes with the PSP Go. So... I uploaded this to my to my server. Now, right down here, it says place the eBoot file in the folder named Update in PSP Game. So, what you want to do is go to your file manager. I already have this folder. Now, I took the liberty and renamed each PBP file to eBoot, so you don't, so you guys don't have to do it yourselves. So you just, all you do is just drag and drop to the desktop. Now, you want uppercase letters. There you go, like that. Hit enter. Now you want to drag and drop the eBoot. And there you go. Like I, I like to do is I like to go come here to the USB and hit eject. Um, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Um, there we go. Stuff is removed. You don't want to take out like a any kind of drive, or USB drive, without um, ejecting it first, um, just in case you did yank it out and you come back to use it again. This corrupted file is because something went wonky. So just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna head over to the um, PSP. All right, I just inserted the SD card over here. It is reading the card right now, as you tell. All right, boot it up. And there you go. So if you want to update from 6.60 to 6.61, download the 6.61 eBoot file. Now, if you're from a lower firmware, and you want to get to 6.60, you're more than welcome to download that 6.60 eBoot file. Or if you want to skip that and go with the 6.61, you could do that as well. 
So that's it. Um, I already installed this. I'm not going to run it again. So like if you like this, like if you dislike, comment down below. And I'll catch you guys sometime.